Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Bridge Builders of Diversity. As promised, today we will continue to talk about IDEA. We will begin talking about the E in IDEA, which is education. Let's take a look at how IDEA supports the education of children with disabilities. Part of IDEA helps state education departments and other agencies improve how they work with children and youth with disabilities. This section provides information and research that informs professional practitioners and families, including teacher education and professional development, operation of parent training and information centers, or PTI, identification of best practices and promising practices, development of technologies, and public dissemination of information. IDEA has undergone several changes since it began as the Education for All Handicapped Children Act, or the public law. In 1975, the law originated as a way to ensure that students with disabilities receive an appropriate public education. IDEA has been updated about every five years since its beginning, the latest of which is the 2004 reauthorization. The reason for this consistent updating is to give us a chance to see how the law plays out in practice and when we need to do to make it more clear, efficient, or effective. In 1986, for example, the infant and toddler component was added, and in 1990, transition planning became a requirement. If you like our content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions. And I'm Sherry, and this is Roberta. Hey there. Also, we would love to hear from you. Check out our Facebook page, leave us a comment, and if there's anything you'd like us to explore, please let us know. Now, let's continue to discuss IDEA. Um, in, the Infant and Toddler Requirements of IDEA, or FAPE, F-A-P-E, Free and Appropriate Public Education by three, says that all students with special needs will receive services from their local school by the age of three years. This section of IDEA details how public schools are required to provide special education services for children with disabilities in the public school setting. While states have differing guidelines as to how these services are provided, the federal law details that the public schools will provide these services. In 2006, another change was made to IDEA. For years, schools were required to wait until a child fell considerably behind grade level before being eligible for special education services. Today, with the release of the final regulations of IDEA 2004, school districts are no longer required to follow these discrepancy models, but are allowed to find other ways to determine when a child needs extra help. This is being implemented through the country through a process called response to intervention. IDEA also structured how transition planning is executed in public schools. This includes planning for life outside of school. For students in public schools who are serviced under an IEP or individual education plan, this planning begins before they turn 16. This may seem early, but for children with disabilities, planning for their milestones in their lives begins earlier than expected. They begin school at age three, and for many, continue until age 21 or 22. Over the years, several ideas have become part of the special education vocabulary because of this IDEA, including FAPE, Free Appropriate Public Education, IEP, Individualized Education Program, and LRE, Least Restrictive Environment. These concepts have been built into the special education system to ensure equal access to education for all students. Now, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you like our content, you have any comments, please put them down below or any topics you'd like to hear. You have anything else, Roberta? And then we appreciate you and thanks for tuning in. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.